158 times po nangyari. We would understand the typographical error if it happens once or twice. Now for 158 people to make the same mistake. Ang dami given, naman pagkakamali nun. Kung magkakamali ka, dapat isa lang. Sobra-sobra yung liquidation na nilabas nila. Tama po ba yung pagkakaintindi ko? The fact that this could not have happened, I mean, reimbursement might be one explanation. But how could you reimburse something that this was even the first batch of confidential fund? Tignan po natin yung kwan. Yung uh, pinirmahan ni uh, uh, Assistant or ASEC or Tonyo. Mukha pong pareho, Mr. Chair. No. Hindi naman po kami experts sa handwriting, Mr. Chair. Ah, hindi naman kailangan ng expert para makita ko minsan yan eh. Did you notice na isa lang ang gumawa nito? Um, Mr. Chair, sorry, tinignan oh, eh, ko lang. Yun lang sinasabi ko eh. Kaya tingnan mo. Ayan na. Ah. Would you know na merong restaurant na Mary Grace ang pangalan? Yes, Mr. Chair. Kapit At meron Mary ding Grace. piatos na brown ng potato chips? Yes, Mr. Chair. <laughs> ang requirement is that ipapakita namin na may information kaming binayaran and because of that information, an operation was conducted and it was successful. Hindi ba dapat ganun? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Pero in the case of the confidential fund of the OVP and the DepEd, hindi ko nakikita yon. Tama po, Mr. Chair. So, eh, eh, bakit po naniwala kayo ko sa certification lang na successful yung pag-conduct ng YSL? Ay, since yan nga po, uh, independent na agency po yung nagbigay ng certification. Hindi po ba kayo kumbinsido sa mga sagot ninyo at saka sa mga katanungan na aking mga kasama na yung DEPs or Documentary Evidence of Payments or uh, uh, Acknowledgement Receipts ay puro may diferensya? Hindi po ba? And therefore, pag yung liquidation instruments, part of your clearing process or liquidation process ay mali-mali na, ay saan napunta yung pera? Kung wala nang ibang nakakalam kung saan napunta yung pondo, ay dadalawang bagay lang ang nangyari. Di ba? Kasi either ibinulsa nung ni VP o ni STO o ginamit sa ibang bagay. Either way, mali. Di po ba? Uh, yung paggamit po nila sa pondo, eh parang nilegalize lang nila. Yung liquidation instruments, eh mali-mali po eh. Kaya sigurado ako, hindi napunta sa tama rin yung pondo. Kagaya ng sabi ko, sa bulsa or nagamit po sa ibang bagay, both hindi po tama. I think we have to be stricter with the acknowledged receipts to be issued. This was a mistake that was committed after the fact, after the AOM, and after the notice of suspension, when they were rushing to comply with the yung mga butas po na lahat ng COA. Sa kanila po, as long as complied yung DEP, and as long as there's an explanation, they would accept it. However, I think the COA has to go above and beyond that requirement. There seemed to be a disconnect in regarding relation to the dates, especially considering the fourth quarter of 2022 CF. Isn't it strange, um, not really strange, it's outright false for it to justify an expense in 2022, but the date is 2023. Would that be correct, Ms. Kamora, uh, Attorney Kamora? Uh, that is correct, Mr. Chair. Actually, one of the findings under the notice of suspension is that some of the acknowledgement receipts were dated December 2023. You might say na typographical error, but correct me if I'm wrong, this happens more than once po. Is that correct, Attorney Kamora? Uh, uh, that is correct, Mr. Chair. Based on our study, 158 of the acknowledgement receipts have that typographical error. We would understand the typographical error if it happens once or twice, and that most for for one individual to make that mistake multiple times. But for supposedly acknowledgement receipts which come from different sources, this should be different people issuing it po, diba? 
they should, these are different people signing off for different expenses. Now, for 158 people to make the same mistake, is that something that would be acceptable? Is that an acceptable margin of error for the COA? Um, Mr. Chair, uh, they, uh, they answered in their compliance. They said they have inadvertently contained clerical or typographical errors indicating 2023 instead of 2022. So the answer of compliance, they did not uh, dispute, they did not take back the ARs, but they simply gave that defense that uh, it was an inadvertence, or basically, typo nga po siya. I think we have to be stricter with the acknowledged receipts to be issued. Isn't it possible, Mr. Chair, based on human experience, isn't it more likely that these ARs were prepared a year after the fact already, that they were prepared in December 2023? Because this precise, precisely coincides with the date in which they submitted the second batch of the ARs. I don't think, Mr. Chair, this was a mistake that was committed in December 2022. This was a mistake that was committed after the fact, after the AOM, and after the notice of suspension, when they were rushing to comply with the yung mga butas po ng COA. I think this is something that the committee should consider. Especially when it comes to the compliance with the COA. We are not faulting the COA, of course, but they never, they would err on the side of caution rather than put themselves in the place to, you know, exercise discretion regarding the disbursements by any agency. Sa kanila po, as long as complied yung DEP, and as long as there is an explanation, they would accept it. However, I think the COA has to go above and beyond that requirement. Because, Mr. Chair, just to highlight also how, um, how spurious this seems and how bogus, if December 2022 po yung date dapat na, ng AR, tapos December 2023 yung date, it, it, it wouldn't even correspond to any confidential funds. Hindi, it's not possible if ever the reasoning was nagkapalitan ng AR. Pero wala pong December 2023. If we recall, the fourth quarter of the confidential funds for the office of the OVP was never dispersed. So saan po na ilalagay itong December 2023 AR if, in fact, they would say in advertence, nagkapalitan yan. Or if they say typographical error naman, it wouldn't make sense. What's that doing in December 2022? 158 times po nangyari. More likely, this was the same mistake committed by perhaps a few persons, which raises the question, are these acknowledgement receipts spurious? Are they bogus? Are they false? Ang Pero dami given... naman pagkakamali nun. Kung magkakamali ka, dapat isa lang. E sa 2023, last quarter, wala na silang confidential pan. So, parang lumalabas, lumagpas yung kanilang liquidation. Sobra-sobra yung liquidation na nilabas nila. Tama po ba yung pagkakaintindi ko sa sinasabi ninyo? Well, Mr. Chair, your guess is the same as ours, but it could also be na these are ARs belatedly prepared. Wala rin pong fourth quarter confidential funds ang OVP for 2023. Tama po ba? Um, tama po, Mr. Chair. So, in that case, how... How would the COA appreciate uh, this acknowledgement receipt? Uh, normally, Mr. Chair, um, it should be noted that uh, confidential funds should not be used as payment for reimbursement of previous activities. So um, it would have been flagged as a reimbursement expense, so not allowed. The fact that this could not have happened, I mean, Reimbursement might be one explanation, but how could you reimburse something that this was even the first batch of confidential fund? Ito po ba ay allowed ng COA? Uh, pag gumamit ka ng uh, 150,000 uh, na rewards, allowed po ba ng COA yan? Uh, yung payment of rewards na kalagay medicines, allowed po ba ng COA yan? Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, one, that is one of the observations po. So therefore, kung yan ang observation nyo, dinis allow nyo. Yes, Mr. Chair. These are clear red flags po in relation to the AR submitted by the office. And this is something that we should consider. Looking forward, we should consider po this in aid of legislation, perhaps uh, legislation to strengthen this joint circular to make sure that this doesn't appear again or perhaps stringent penalties for when this is caught. But more important than that, we still have to hold them accountable po, no? For this, although this is already passed, although there's already this notice of disallowance, accountability should be had for this. Only the vice president and the SDO know where the confidential funds went. 
Based did, on the documents, Your Honor, I would assume so. Did you state that? Uh, what I, I was asked, uh, Mr. Chair, I was asked, uh, Your Honor, I think by Representative Castro. So, yung, yung sagot po ninyo, it's a presumption. Well, Your Honor, kasi hindi ko po alam kung saan... Maybe because you answered the question under oath. Yes, Your Honor. And therefore, you stated the name of the Vice President and the Special dis Dispersing Officer. Kung wala nang ibang nakakalam kung saan napunta yung pondo, ay eh, dadalawang bagay lang ang nangyari. Di ba? Kasi either ibinulsa nung ni VP o ni STO o ginamit sa ibang bagay. Ni I, VP at saka ni STO. Di po ba? Uh, Your Honor, please, I wasn't... Uh, Hindi, yun, ang, yun po yung sagot but ninyo. I wasn't eh, alluding to that, Your Honor. Uh, I, was I, asked, I wasn't alluding to that, Your Honor, if uh, I may no, beg your indulgence. Kasi, so, po. Uh, land bank, nagkasad bang sila doon, di nala sa opisina. Ang makaalam na lang doon ay yung uh, head of office or head of agency at saka yung special dispersing officer. Tama! Di ba ba? At yung special dispersing officer, yun yung mag-a-allocate kung saan pupunta yung gagastusin yung pondo. Di po ba? Uh, yes po, Your Honor. Yes. And therefore, kung yung liquidation or clearing process ay uh, hindi totoo at bogus, ibig sabihin nagamit yung pera sa ibang bagay. Would you agree with me, Kowa? We presume that the funds, no other evidence presented, were illegally disbursed. Hindi po ba kayo kumbinsido sa mga sagot ninyo at saka sa mga katanungan na aking mga kasama na yung DEPs or Documentary Evidence of Payments or uh, uh, Acknowledgement Receipts ay eh, puro may diferensya? Hindi po ba? And therefore, pag yung liquidation instruments, part of your clearing process or liquidation process ay mali-mali na, ay saan napunta yung pera? Hello mga ka-beauties. Punta na yung taping ng viewpoint headlines today. Kaso sobrang init sa studio. Mabuti na lang, lagi kong kasamang BFF ko. Sweet night, vanilla fragrance. Spray ko lang to. Magiging comfortable na ako sa buong maghapon. And talos pumibinta ito ng 1.4 million sa TikTok shop. Kasi napaka affordable price, 99 pesos lang. Click the order link below. Either ibinulsa or ginamit sa iba. Either way, mali. Di po ba? Would you agree, Kowa? Uh, if the liquidation po is bogus. Um, Kasi hindi naman napunta doon sa totoo eh. Doon sa, uh, sa clearing instruments na binigay. Di ba? Kung naibulsa, masama. Ninaka muna eh, di ba? Ngayon kung ginamit sa iba, technical malversation yun. Would you agree with me, attorney? Um, that is assuming it was not used as confidential expense. Eh, mali na nga yung clearing instrument sa liquidation process eh. Yung mali yung pag-clear at saka pag-liquidate, what is your conclusion? Uh, that the funds were not used as confidential. Supposed to be used. To, as, as it is supposed to be used. It is supposed to be used. Yes. That is the logical conclusion. Hindi po ba? Would you agree with me, Madam? Tony? Personal opinion, yes, Mr. Chair. Ha? Huh? Personal opinion po, Mr. Chair, yes. I would have to agree. Uh, yung paggamit po nila sa pondo, eh parang nilegalize lang nila. Yung liquidation instruments, eh mali-mali po eh. Kaya sigurado ako, hindi napunta sa tama rin yung pondo. Ah, uh, Office of the uh, Security Group of the Vice President uh, would have their own funds? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, and therefore would not need 
the confidential funds coming from the secretary of the uh, Department of uh, Education and from the office of the vice president. Would you agree with me? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Yeah. Um, unreasonable names, Mr. Chair. Unreadable. Uh, unreadable. Um, yes, Mr. Chair. Then there were five names repeated. Uh, that was not an observation, Mr. Chair. Yung, yung repeated names po, hindi po namin naging observation. Hindi nakita yon. Very unusual naman po, since pwede naman po talaga mangyari. So usual na, yung nangyayari yon. Hindi naman po usual, pero hindi naman siya ganun ka-unusual. Oh, sige. Whether it's usual or unusual, is it in accordance with the joint circular? Um, sa joint circular po kasi, documentary evidence of payment lang po ang requirement. Sa pakisagot lang yung tanong ko. Uh, whether usual or unusual, is it in accordance with your uh, joint circular? Uh, since the document was submitted you po, think yes, they are uh, may nakita po na mga acknowledgement receipts uh, that all appear to be signed by the same pen would you agree with that also madam Kawa? Um, yes mr chair since either blue or black po yung yes kaya nga makikita po natin ito sa color ng ink yes mr chair wala po kayong napansin uh, yung na-note ni note lang po namin is yung mga uh, iba ang date, yung mga unsigned. Hindi ko na maalala ang itsura, Mr. Chair. Uh, okay. <laughs> Tingnan po natin yung kwan. Yung uh, pinirmahan ni uh, uh, assistant or ASEC or Tonyo. Mukha pong pareho, Mr. Chair. Uh. Hindi naman po kami expert sa handwriting, Mr. Chair. Ah, hindi naman kailangan ng expert para makita ko minsan yan eh. Makuha ng information na ginamit yung confidential fund and that an activity was conducted because of that information and that information gathering and that activity were successful. Yes, Mr. Chair. Tama po ba yung pagkaintindi ko? Tama po, Mr. Chair. Now, if I may ask, how would you know or how would you be able to find out na merong information na nakuha muna before they have conducted their YSL? Um, wala po kaming information on that. So, either may separate sila as part ng purchase of information and then separate yung rewards or nabayaran na siya same with rewards. Pero requirement po nyo yun, di ba? Requirement na circular. Yeah. Kaya po yung, ano, yung additional that requirement. Is, that is precisely the reason why you will justify the buying of information. Yes, which Mr. would lead Chair. to a successful event or operation. Yes, Mr. Chair. Di po ba? Yes, Mr. Chair. So, ang requirement is that ipapakita namin na may information kaming binayaran and because of that information, an operation was conducted and it was successful. Di ba dapat ganun? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Pero in the case of the confidential fund of the OBP and the DepEd, hindi ko nakikita yun. Uh, naging sufficient na po yung certification from the, yung five certifications. And that is enough to, call, to, to, uh, to show na tama po yung ginawa nila just because nag-submit sila ng certification that uh, YLS. Tama po, Mr. Chair. So, eh, eh, bakit po naniwala kayo sa certification lang na successful yung pag-conduct ng YSL? Ay, since yun nga po, uh, independent na agency po yung nagbigay ng certification, and sabi naman po niya na because of the, of the YLS nga wala pong na-influence ng mga bata, we deemed it um, successful. Is there, is there any way that you will determine that the confidential fund of the uh, OBP and DepEd, uh, these funds were used sa activity ng, uh, ng VPS uh, Security Group? Kasi they have their own funds. That was the first question I asked you a while ago. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, Can Mr. you see that they were used? 
uh, no Mr. Chair, kaya nga po uh, hindi naman siya na-consider since yung list of activities lang po ang sinabmit nila which is alam nila since sila naman po yung kasama ni VP sa mga activities na yun. Did you notice na isa lang ang gumawa nito? Um, Mr. Chair, sorry, tinignan okay, ko lang. Yun lang sinasabi ko eh. Kaya tingnan mo. You observe it properly. Ayan na. Would you be able to state, Madam Attorney, na this, these two receipts were written by the same person? Uh, probably, Mr. Chair. Probably. How can that be? Pwede naman pong either, either of those two persons wrote the same and then someone else So, that signed. is regular? Ah, mm, no. I'm not saying regular po, pero Hindi it could na, happen. Hindi eh, na, tinatanong ko nga is, uh, nagkakaroon tayo ng observation. Now, yes, would, do you think this is regular? Mm. OVP at saka DepEd Acknowledgement Receipts. O, oh, parehas lang yan. Hindi nyo napansin ito? Uh, hindi po, Mr. Chair, since na-audit siya ng magkaibang time. The two ARs, uh, parehas ang pangalan na kay V. The, uh, the name would read, tama po ba? Mary Grace Piatos? Why po yung last? Why? Hindi S? Ah... Uh, May ano po siya eh. Ayun o, di na mo. Uh, why po? Since masyado nang mababa yung tail. Okay. Now, sa tingin mo, totoong tao yan? Would you know na merong restaurant na Mary Grace ang pangalan? Yes, Mr. Chair. Cafe At meron ding piatos na brown ng potato chips? Yes, Mr. Chair. Acknowledgement receipts. Ay karamihan po ay hindi po totoo. And therefore, if hindi po totoo, hindi natin malalaman na yung pondo, dalawa lang ang pupuntahan na nun eh. Uh, kagaya ng sabi ko, sa bulsa or nagamit po sa ibang bagay, both hindi po tama.